Welcome to this epic Armageddon battle report. This is a 3000 point game between Lost and Damned and Build on Elder. There will be a link to the NetEA website below in the description. Then let's look at the armies. First we have Lost and Damned. Here is the list. Then let's look at the formations. First we have two change covens, the Chaos Altar coven with Chaos Altar and three big mutants. Then we have Mechanized coven with land transports, chimeras and hydras. Then we have a silver tower formation. Then the corn covens. First we have defense coven and then we have the mutant coven here with land transports and hydra. Then we have corn demonic assault engines, a lot of battle and finally two thunderbolts. And that's the army. Then let's look at the elder. Here is the list for the elder. Okay, then let's go. Uh, first we have jet bike formation with one wiper. Then we have an aspect warrior formation. Then we have a guardian formation 2 with 3 support weapons. Avatar. Guardian formation 1 with 3 support weapons and 3 red card. Then we have another formation as aspect warrior and a, a vampire. Two one swords of wall, uh, two night spinner formations, second swords of wall, and finally night wings. And that's the elder. Then going into the deployment. So here we can see the overall look. And if we go then looking at the formations here, we have one of the night spinners on the side. Then we have Guardians and one of the Swords of Wall in front of the Blitz objective. Then we have the Raid Gate there. Then we have some Spinners in the Forest, Swords of Wall and finally there was Jet Bikes. From Lost and Damned we have the Mechanized Change Coven on the flank here. Then we have the Mutants and the Defense Coven of the Corn in there. Then we have Demon Engines and the Lord of Battle. And finally we have the Altar Coven and silver towers and that's it then on to turn one first lost and damned won the activation but let eldar go first the eldar takes sword of wall which double and they move first one move being eldar so they can fire it there and they target the demon engines destroy one and then they make their second move and jump in the canyons in the center to hide from possible enemy counter attack. The Lost and Damned try to activate Thunderbolts but fail and then the Swords of Wall 2 go from Eldar and they move also double taking shots from the top of the hill at the Mechanized Coven but fail to do any anything and then they jump as well into the canyons. Then it's the Lost and Damned, and the Mechanized Coven decides to double. So they move in between the hills and the canyons, and then they are going to take some shots at one of the Swords of Wall. And here is the last of the formation moving up. And then some extra soldiers jump out of the transports. There we go. And that's the lost. We can have it. And after the shooting, Firestorm is destroyed. Then the Night Spinners sustain from the forest, targeting the Mechanized Coven and destroying some of them. There we go. Then Lost and Damned and Lord of Battle doubles. And goes there. I'm sorry for the quality of the video. And then managing to destroy one of the spinners and break the formation. So the Guardian Warhost 2 takes an advance in order to go toe to toe with the Lost and the, uh, Lord of Battle. And only one is actually in range, so not much done there. Then the Demonic Engines try to marshal, but fail un until Supreme Commander orders them. I use Supreme Commander there because I wanted them to actually manage to activate and not break as they would have if they failed. 
So then the Eldon, and they're going to use Nightwings to make a ground attack against the uh, Lord of Battle. And 2 damage, which is much more than I was expecting. Then the Mutant Coven march, and they realize that they can only go close to close combat against the Guardians. And that's what the Mutant Coven is for, especially as it's corn and it can only summon lesser demons. So they march in order to get into attack range of the Guardians, and few of the mutants jump out to make sure that nothing funny happens to them while they are being transported. There we go. Then the Guardian Warhurst 1 then decides to advance out of the right gate, which I was expecting. That's why some of the units jumped out. However, what I was not expecting, and actually neither was my opponent, is just how deadly are the right guard. And there we go, they practically destroy the formation in one shot. So they break and move back after losing most of their formation. There we go, and one unit got almost forgotten, so there we go. They fall back there. Then it's the Silver Towers, which double, and they realize that they don't really have ranged much anything. So they move to fire at the Guardians, but keeping out of the range of the Night Spinners. So using only the 60 centimeter shots and not doing anything much. Then it's Jet Pikes, and they double, and decide to take position on. Not that hill actually, but near the canyons there. So there they are. Then the altar coven, which doubles as well. And I realized that in order to stay away from getting the minus one to my initiative or the activation, I have to stay 50 centimeters away from the corn. And since the broken ones are in the Ruins, that was kind of annoying. Then the vampire makes a crown attack against the silver towers and fails to do anything. And here is the overall situation at the end of the turn one. So both armies are moving up. Lost and damned lost the mutant common, but otherwise everything's pretty fine. And that's what it looks like. So the Coven is defending the Blitz and the Vampire is moving behind them. In here the Mechanized Coven is getting fired upon, but they are closing in on the enemy, which is hidden in the can canyons there by the objective. And then we have the Night Spinners, which are in the center there, one of them broken. Then we have Guardians holding this flank against the Change Coven and the Broken Mutant Formation, Lord of Battle. And then there is the another Guardian formation. So that's turn one. Then on to turn two. Uh, no, actually with Robles first. So Mutant Coven fails to rally, so they move back. Actually, not actually back, but to the side, taking positions in the ruins there, and staying close enough. If should they rally next turn, that they can actually affect. Then. Uh, Avatar is summoned between the Lord of Battle and Swooping Hopes teleport but get 4 blast markers. So turn 2. Lost and Damned win and go first. The Mechanized Coven takes an Engage order and summons 5 lesser demons. So they are preparing to hammer the two swords foul formations in the ca canyons there. So they move up there on the hill to get good Good amount of shots in, especially with with the flamers and counter charge brings some of the units into range. But then the whole thing goes wrong for the lost and damned. Us lost and damned doesn't save, and elder do pretty well. And there we go. And lost and damned lose the combat. All the lesser demons are vanished and. The formation break and move back. The Eldar also broke one of their formations because they lost 
too many units. Second one is not actually broken, but okay, so they consolidate within the canyon. Then retaining the Lost of Damned, Alter Common Doubles, and they summon the Lord of Change in hopes of managing to do something because Lord of Change has actually pretty good shots, two macro weapon shots. So they move up, keeping 15 cm away from the Lord of Battle, and they prepare to take get some shots in at the Guardians, and manage to kill one unit plus the Wraith Guard unit there. Then the Guardian Warhouse 2 doubles, so they take up positions on the side here to get into support fire range. Yellows and damned the assault also. Eldar got support fire from the jet bike, so that didn't go so well. So then the avatar engages, and I got I managed to hit three times with macro, and it saves two of them with invulnerable save, and kills the Lord of Chain, Lord of Battles. So there we go. Then it consolidates and realizes that it can't go quite that close, so it moves back into the ruins. There we go. Then the demonic engines double. So first move. And then the second move to get the swooping hawks in the range of their guns. And they manage to kill one and the other saves, so they don't break either. And then they marshal because they are one blast marker away from breaking. So they move back and remove all their blast markers. Then silver towers double and they move to the building there and take some shots at the jet pikes. Unfortunately they only manage to kill the viper. They are in 45 centimeter range so they get full power but yeah only one viper dead. So then the Night Spinner 1 sustain fire at the silver towers and they manage to kill one and do two blast markers and break the formation. So that one is broken as well. They move back. Then Thunderbolts make a ground attack against the Night Spinners, which manage to rally and break them again. So Night Wings then intercept and knock out one of the Thunderbolts. So one, one Thunderbolt left. Then Sword of Wall, two advance, so Lost and Damned don't have any more activations as the Defense Coven is still keeping Overwatch, so they move up from the canyon and shoot at the demon engine, demonic engines, but don't actually manage to do anything. Then the Guardian Formation 1 advances as well, so they move up, keeping the Wraith Guard in front and fire. Though this time they don't actually manage to do that much. They don't actually do anything if I remember correctly. Then the vampire makes the ground attack and air assaulting the aspect warrior whole group from there so they jump out and get into combat. The cultist counter charge trying to get everybody into the range and this one doesn't go that well for Damned either. They manage to kill most of the aspect warriors but lose a large portion of their formation. So they break and run back. And the Lord of Change is gone as well. However, the aspect warriors also break as they take. They've lost six of their eight units and the two fall back. And finally we have jet bikes, which marshal moving ahead ahead a little and removing their blast mark. So here we are looking at the end of the turn. Now, in this point, most of the Lost and Damned army is broken. There are some broken formations on Elder side as well, but more on the Lost and Damned. And here's what it looks like. One broken, second broken, third broken, fourth broken formation. Then there is a couple of Guardians holding the flank, Vampire in the center, and... Here we have more broken silver towers and one overwatching formation still in there. 
hanging about. And there is some broken Eldar, and some more broken Eldar, and night spinners in the forest, and the airplanes. And that's what it looks like at the end of the turn too. So, the mechanized coven fails to rally, and they withdraw, taking up positions in the building there, deciding that they don't want to get involved in this game probably anymore. Then the mutant coven, and they also fail the rally, so they fall back as well, <laughs> removing themselves from the objective which the Eldar are going to take, so they're not going to be able to do anything about it anymore. So then, at turn 3, Eldra win the initiative, and Sword of All 2 activate first by double, and they jump the side here, and open fire at the Silver Toppers, which managed to rally, and kill two of them. So the final one is broken again, and it goes on the opposite side of the horn formation in the center. Then, retaining the swooping hawks, engage, and they go in the fire firefight with the corn demon engines, and they manage to win, killing off one, and they break, break and then run towards the enemy side. So. Swooping Hawks don't want to be left behind, since these need to be removed in order to prevent the lot from pre uh, taking one condition away. So then, it's the Lost and Damned and the Ultra Coven, which rallied, uh, advances forwards, taking some shots at the Guardian formation here. So three, four, three units die. <laughs> And then on the other flank, the jet bikes engage to try to wipe out the fearless corn demonic engines. And that is exactly what they do. So, no hope of that one to prevent one con uh, victory condition. So, Thunderbolts fail to activate. And then it's Guardians, which start to make sure that the victory goes to Eldar, so they march back taking the Blitz and and the other objective. Then the defense coven holds, they try to double but they fail, so uh, the idea here is that we are, I'm trying to prevent 3-0 loss by contesting that one objective there. And then the Guardian Warriors two doubles, they would like to fire, but since they have too many blast markers, it's actually suppressed the one platform that there is. So they go to take the two objectives there. So then Night Spinner 1 sustained fires in hopes of eliminating those, but actually fail to kill the one big mutant which is in range. So then the Vampire and the Nightwings both try to also eliminate that one big mutant, but it just refuses to die. So that's the end of the game. The Eldar win 2-0. Uh, by they shall not pass and defend the flag. And that's it. Lost and Dam just could not manage to hold there. So there we have Broken Mutants, Guardians, Ultra Coven, which is still well unbroken at least. A couple of broken formations there. So we have here the Eldar holding complete domination on the other flank. And that's what it looks like. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this battle report. And here is the software that I use. The music is by Kevin McLeod and thanks for watching.